we started the strategic plan looking at it last year with Leon, and uh, it often ties in to when you have a new chairman, you set out your plan going going forward. Leon and I started it. Um, it actually come to, came to fruition this year when I took over as chairman, and really it just sets out how we see the future um, on both the commercial side and the rugby side going forward. It includes the whole club, whether it is the commercial side, which is the income generating side, the playing side, which obviously our success is judged on, but also more importantly it encompasses our customers, that the, the people that use um, the facilities on non-match days as well as our supporters which we rely on for match days and it also includes our community department which is very valuable in going out into the community and you know, ensuring that we, we are an, you know, in, indeed a community club which is where it all started from in St James. We need the strategic plan very much to continue that sustainability. Uh, as long as we continue to make profits, we can then reinvest those profits into the playing side to achieve that ultimate goal of the silverware in, in the cabinet. And part of our success going forward will be not only through our academy, which is bringing forward the young players going forward like that, but we also have to, to, to win that silverware, attract the one or two world-class players uh, to make up that overall team. You made a big statement about accountability to supporters, especially in the season ticket holder forum at the start of the 13-14 the season. Why is this important? Um, engagement with our supporters is, is vitally important. You know, the supporters are the bedrock of our club, and um, that is one of the successes of Northampton Saints, our strong supporter base. And it's very important that we, we just don't forget that. And, you know, we need that unique atmosphere at Franklin's Gardens um, to make it a fortress, um, Franklin's Gardens, and to make sure we win our home matches. Do you think that accountability uh, through something like the strategic plan helps with that engagement? Uh, definitely, definitely. I think engagement sort of encompasses a number of areas. So whether it's a match day experience between the players and the supporters, whether it's our season ticket holder forums or our supporters liaison group meetings. So I guess this document acts as, as almost a, a bedrock for, for things to be built on and for people to refer to. Yeah, it's, it's what we call a living document, the strategic plan. It will be constantly updated uh, as more and more people contribute to it, buy into it and change it. And that, that's the whole basis of a successful club. It needs that constant contribution, engagement, communication um, going forward. We're on that journey of success. It's not a destination. We have to keep moving along, improving ourselves and working at both the match day and non-match day experiences at the club. It's a strategic plan that takes us up to the end of the 2016-17 season. What are the main challenges and opportunities that you see during that time? I think what we've set out in the plan is how we see Northampton Saints developing and continuing with our success. You know, On the horizon we've got the extension of Franklin's Gardens where the planning application is already at the moment. We're really looking 2015, new extension completed, Franklin's Gardens extended to 15,500 and available after the end of the World Cup when we believe there will be a strong you know, improvement in the interest in rugby, club rugby, and so we're in a strong position there. Off the field, you know, outside Northampton's control, there are some interesting sort of developments which we're still waiting to be resolved, whether they be Europe. Um, we need, we are, then we have a new agreement with the rugby union, which runs out after the World Cup. So yeah, those negotiations are starting. And unlike other businesses, which are totally dependent on your own resources, we are dependent on negotiations on a national side um, to keep going with our business plan.